The first telescope I'm using is the SLR old lens. It's a Soligor lens, 400 millimeter focal length and 67 millimeter aperture. And I'm using a Teleview Panoptic 24 millimeter. So this is the result. Very wide angle, actually. Very nice wide angle. It's almost like a lens, normal lens you use with a camera. I'm, I'm pleased with this, but I want more details. This is the uh, Sky Watcher ED72 uh, Aphrochromatic Telescope that I'm using, and this is the Zeiss uh, 25 mm 57 degrees eyepiece. Uh, this is the Zeiss um, PL10 time oh, 10 times dash 20. Let's see how is the view to this telescope. I will take astrophoto of this. So now I'm using a Prince Optic 76.2 millimeter uh, telescope. It has a focal length of 1250. It's a very long telescope. And as you can see here, it gives you a F number around uh, F16.4, I think. Let's see how is the view. Okay, I'm observing with the, uh, this Optic Star AR9TS, uh, 90 millimeter f5.5 telescope. I've turned it upside down because well, I found it easier to actually work this side uh, with the fine tuning of the focus. I have my best view of the M42 Great Orion Nebula with this telescope and this Zeiss uh, uh, eyepiece microscope eyepiece. The specification is written here PL10 times 20 that is equal to 25 millimeter 57 degrees This is a Sky Watcher 101 four or four and a half inch uh, reflector. It's one of the v uh, biggest, uh, you know, field of view telescopes I've ever seen. Almost equal to the AstroScan, very much so. And uh, I'm using a Plusol eyepiece. It's a 25 millimeter Sky Watcher one. And uh, this comes with the original mount with the Virtuoso mount, but I'm using it just in the uh, Alter Sabre. Um, mount on a normal tripod. Let's see how is the view. Oh, what an excellent eyepiece is this uh, 26 millimeter meat plus of that's a lovely eyepiece, sharp. I'm looking at the M42 Great Orion Nebula. It's so beautiful. This is my 12 inch or 305 millimeter reflector telescope on a Dobsonian mount. This is a Sky Watcher Flex Tube 300P. And I'm using the an airfoil eyepiece, Siberia 50mm airfoil eyepiece. It's a, a Russian one. Very good, very lightweight, gives me a wide field of view. So I'm just using it with this uh, telescope. And I'm looking at the M42 Great Orion Nebula. Let's just see how is the view through this. And uh, I have zoomed and I've done all kinds of things just to see how it performs. It gives it the best view so far. I can see sometimes some color. And sometimes also I see similar in a refractor of a six inch uh, diameter objective lens. Let's see.
I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed using all these telescopes. Uh, it depends, you know, when you are tired or you cannot uh, lift the heavy weight. The smallest telescope, the smallest lenses can help you actually just to do something that you enjoy. And when you are, uh, you know, uh, have a good rest, you can go for the bigger ones and enjoy that way. Or Great Orion Nebula is a very good target, easy to see for uh, almost six months or a little bit more if you want.